We're here in downtown Northampton shooting our pilot of Speak Up America. That's right. Uh, Pine Air Valley's first vehicle for community voices. Uh -huh. uh, I have created the Tuskegee Airmen's Homeless Veterans Fund. And for Easy our enough. pilot, we're taking different views from the public and veterans. We have a gentleman here who's a vet, and we'd like to hear what he has to say about the affairs of politics, society, and what veterans are going through and their needs that are and are being met. Okay. Um, can I curse? No. no. Okay. I can't curse. So I'm just going to put it like this. I'm, I am a veteran. Uh, I'm from New Jersey, North New Jersey. I came all the way here to um, Massachusetts. And me being a veteran, I'm getting treated fairly, but it's a lot of veterans that's out there that's not being treated fairly. Um, they need their fair share. I feel as though that once you um, sign your name on the dotted line, then you're willing to fight for this country. You're willing to, um, you're, you're automatically signing yourself to be entitled to uh, what's going on. And if you're homeless or um, if you're lacking anything, our government should, should provide whatever, uh, Whatever possible to help you get back on your feet, and um, a lot of things I don't agree with. Um, as far as politics, politics is uh, <laughs> politics is some bullshit. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I'm sorry for cursing, but politics is uh, is all about the haves and have nots. Yeah. And we out here right now, we have not. But I'm gonna get it, and um, I'm trying to go through the right channels to get it. Uh, being a veteran, um, I serve my country. Uh, I love my country, and, and I hope everyone that's out there right now is um, doing is uh, be safe out there in Iraq and Afghanistan and everything that's going on in the world. And who to everybody that's out there. And let me say, and this man just emulsified what Rambo said when he was asked, "What do you want? What all veterans want for America to love them as much as they love America?" Exactly. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We're here on the streets of Northampton with Shanti Spillane. And what are your opinions? And you pick the, the subject. Uh, we're seeing what people think about the state of the world, society, politics, and what you think the world needs to be doing to make this a better place for all of the brothers and sisters of humanity. Yes, all of us. What I think we should do is First of all, speak with uh, Governor Baker and ask him to fulfill everything that we need to make, you know, social services and everything more important to him and like really help out the people, not be so conservative, and also to pass the mass um, tax film credit so that we can still bring the, the Hollywood films into Massachusetts, you know, and and not have to um, give it away to other competing states because that brings us revenue because people love Northampton from Boston that do film movies out there. I do movies all the time out there. So it's like, you know, it brings in revenue to the state, to the local okay. companies, to everyone, and that's important. You need to get back to the, the small businesses. There's, there's too many big corporations, and I think it's destroying America. And I think what this lady says is, indicative of all of the political atmosphere. Everybody on both sides of the bin don't have to break, but everybody needs to bend. Yes. Yep. Thank you. Yes. God bless your opinion. Thank you. I love seeing you and your music. Yep, back, back on the streets in Northampton with Speak Up America, vehicle for community voices. Here we have a veteran with us. I'll let him introduce himself and tell you what his opinions are on the state of veterans affairs in society, politics, and the world. Hi, my name is John Higginson, and uh, we just need to do better by the men and women in uniform. Uh, what's happening to them in some cases is just simply not right. Uh, and uh, I hope that uh, the whole society uh, embraces this cause and does something more for it. Uh, those people who give their lives uh, for our way of life, however difficult it is at this moment. Thank you very much. And once again, we are glad to hear his opinion. We only hope when we air it that society and politicians in general will listen. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you. What's your name, young sir? Timmy. And if you could tell the world how you would make it better, what would your message to the world be, young sir? To clean, the, to clean everybody's house. To clean everybody's house? <laughs> okay. That way you won't have to do it, right? They'll come do it for you. Good message. You stay blessed, my young sir. <laughs> This week, Patriots Day weekend, we are starting our Speak Up America series. We're featuring mostly veterans affairs, what the government is not doing that people would like for them to do, the basic state of affairs, and of course, the most important opinions are those of veterans who have served. What would you like to say about yourself what you did for the country and what you think the country should do for the veterans at this point. Well, I'm a, I'm a pretty proud vet. Um, I served uh, in the United States Marine Corps. And, uh, you know, um, I know plenty of guys uh, right here in Northampton that the VA is helping. You know, nothing's perfect. You know, I, I wish, you know, everything worked out well for everybody. Uh, unfortunately, you know, that's just not the case. Um, I have had positive experiences. You know, I'm, uh, I've am i had uh, some issues. Uh, I've got PTSD, and uh, they are uh, helping me with it. Um, you know, and, and at times when I'm not doing well, you know, it, 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 it's, it's a refuge. It's, uh, it's a place. It, it, it is. It's a place where you can go, and you know you're going to be with your brothers, and you're going to be relatively safe. Um, and in good clinical hands. And for that, uh, I'm grateful for the VA. Hmm? Well, thank you, sir. And I think it's wonderful to hear positive things because the community has such a negative outlook. Though they're doing as much as they can with what they have to work with. But as we all know, there's hundreds of thousands of veterans still waiting for their benefits. And this is the part all of the community would hope Congress would act more quickly on. Here we are on streets in Northampton with Ari. And we're going to get his opinions on what the world needs to do to be better, whether it's socially, politically. It's his word, his thought. Okay, so. Um I guess people just need to love a bit more. You know, there's a lot of hate in the world. I think the world would be a much better place to live and be if, you know, there's more love and people weren't kind to each other. Yeah, we need to realize we're all brothers and sisters of the same humanity, no matter where we live or where we're born on this planet. Yes. Is that your basic thought? Yes. Well, sir. bless yeah. you. That's right in tune with what Daniel said. Bless your heart and day, and thank you for your opinion, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're here, still in downtown Northampton. We have Eric here. He's quite well known to the people who are in and out of town every day. He is a vet. He has been here for a while. We'll let him tell his story, but uh, I will let you know. He has spent his homeless days, so he knows what being a homeless vet is about. What would you like to tell him? Hi, Juan Brenna. Uh, my name's Eric. I did a brief tour in Germany, three five calves, communications with a Colonel Cupolo, Grazier, Smith, and Sergeant Windsor and Hildreth. Uh, trained in Fort Knox, Kentucky, and Fort Gordon, Georgia. Left uh, for Germany from Store 24 in Springfield. Um, got laid off and uh, couldn't find construction work, so I was looking for a real job and went to Germany briefly, non combat. Uh, I joined the Army for three hots and a cot. It's a place to live. My car got totaled. I got laid off from the factory and quit the counseling center briefly. So I did eat and they gave me a place to live. Three hots and a cot. Kind of loved training. It was a blast. But uh, right now my thoughts would go out to Giovanni in Italy who was just killed uh, in Pakistan um, with a predator drone strike. We're trying to save our own hostages. It was a misfire. Um, I have a friend from Sol uh, Hampshire, Salman, who confided to me once thought America was a bully. I didn't respond, I refrained. Hold, bullying does happen. Some people consider America a bully. You could argue incessantly until you're blue in the face over the war in Iraq, whether it was justified, but 
I thought at least Bush Sr. was a darn good man. I supported him, and Saddam Hussein didn't seem justified going into Kuwait with tanks, so we took action. You can say all you want about whippersnapper George Bush Jr., but <laughs> the war was horrendous, and I think we all felt for it. That's why I voted for Obama. McCain wanted to keep it going in this tribal war up south, Sunnis and Shiites, and we're escalating. So we withdrew, and uh, Afghanistan, things are still happening. Uh, my thoughts are with uh, Chernoff, the Russian who bombed the, uh, the race, the marathon in Boston. Uh, they were innocents. Some people want him dead, the family members, for resolution or whatever. You could keep him in jail as a hostage, um, political prisoner. Haven't decided on that yet. Um, the marathon runners were innocent, and there is such a thing. He, excuse me, could have hit us in Afghanistan. That's what our troops are there for. <laughs> been a real man. This guy should talk, but uh, could have been killed there. Um, he stalked nobody from Afghanistan. He went there and ate with plenty of Afghanistans. Afghanistan, they got along, got along fine. AJ. So. Um, it's pretty involved. My thoughts go out to Giovanni, who was just killed with a predator drone strike. And uh, basically, my tour was brief, but we all pray for peace in the end. And bless you. God Actually, bless. anyone who hears this down the line is always welcome to come respond and reflect. We're not here to have a round table argument, but we're always open to all views. And all views means many of them are going to be opposing. But it isn't about our position. It's about what the people think. We are the vehicle for a community voice. Thank you. No problem. Hi, I'm Brenna Toddy, and I'm here with uh, Northampton Live um, from the streets of Northampton. And this is Joe Bass, and today he's going to play us a song. Um, Joe? Here we go. Joe Bass, live in Northampton.
see it in your eyes. Your secret, I'm it.